boxing match tonight. It's over. Most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a venue that has hosted a lot of major UFC events. I think we're the only ones not drinking in here, Chad. I mean, we want to join the party. The fans are going crazy. They're singing. They're cheering. They're screaming. This is a great fight environment. Lee's kick attempt, they're blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. A little bit. Horrible. Oh, huge block. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Hook to the head there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Nice leg kick land. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. 
kick is blocked. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, you see. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And that one certainly found the target. Top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, just misses with the kick. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Straight punch lands. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Luke. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. You're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to. All right, DC, second round is getting Ready? underway. Ready? Round one, Ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big head kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Out of range with that one. Blocks the shot. Just misses there with the left. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Just a slip there. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Head movement, slips there. Came with inches right Down there, him. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice straight punch. What a body kick. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. Great punch landed with so much power. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Try to establish that jab. Got the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Slips the punch. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Checks that leg kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Hip into that kick. Not there. Circling away towards the left now. Big punch lands. Ooh. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, 
lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Missed with that right hand. Big kick lands. Three minutes to go. Able to check the high kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Single collar tie now. Gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Hey, keep moving. Hey, take that shot. Take the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Punch over the top. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Right hand is on point. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Just unable to quite find that range. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. 
He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Moving to his left now. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Look at the turtle in that kick. Liver kick. Just over three minutes now to go. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Lee gets hit with a kick. Left hook to the head. Real nice body kick lands. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over two minutes to go. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, wow! Head kick! Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great punch. Head kick lands. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. now remain in the round. Final seconds. Checks the leg kick. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
kick to the body. That one blocked. Oh! Circling to his right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice defense there, huge block. Nice strike. Big head kick. Big kick land. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, at this point of the fight, he is way up on the judges' scorecards, and from a stamina standpoint, he looks like he can fight all night. He does a fantastic job of fighting at a great pace, but also knowing exactly where to preserve and or to conserve the energy, and it's showing when you look at his gas tank, and it seems as though it's still full. Leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Oh, and he caught the kick. Superman punch lands. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Don't wait. You hit him first. Beautiful head kick. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Plus right hand is true. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Final 10 seconds of the fight. The final horn sounds. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision.
All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!